I wake up at 4.05 every morning. I put my feet down on the ground and I immediately turn to my uh, bedside table and I eat three raw eggs. <laughs> Don't believe anything you say. I walk into the kitchen and I eat eight <laughs> ounces of oats okay. with honey. <laughs> I take three cold showers and then I saw it. And then I cold plunge. Oh, I'm just kidding. I, I don't do any of that stuff. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Let's talk habits though, man. Let's talk habits. Habits are important, right? Like good habits are important. So honestly, what are some habits that you do uh, to operate every day at a high level? Yeah. So, you know, habits are a funny thing. I actually think about habits quite a bit and there's two things that come to mind. Number one is my habits are formed from my focus. So I am a focus person, right? I, you hear me talk a lot about how I am a rifle, not a shotgun. So I know my priorities in my life. My yep. priorities are my family first. My faith is important. Franchise sidekick and my kids sports, you know, their school. I don't do a lot of other things besides work and family, right? And so it helps shape my priorities and what's going to be important. And then when I think about habits, I, I think back to you and I both came from the nutrition world and we knew how difficult it was. If you had to introduce this idea of somebody eating something new or taking a pill or whatever, it usually didn't last that long because they were introducing this new behavior that wasn't something they enjoyed into their life. What I found and, and what was successful with us in those stores is when we could give them like a functional drink. They were going to drink something with lunch anyway. What if it could be a functional drink or what if it was something they could add to their coffee? It was much more successful. Why? Because that habit was something that they incorporated into things that they were already doing. Mm. And so I think about that a lot. I'll talk about that here in a minute, but let's first go over to you. Like what's important to you with habits? Man, this is a tough one because I am very habitual and I'm a little bit of a, of a, body hacker a little bit. So I figured out what works good for me. And some of it's kind of funny that you guys give me a hard time about, but like for me, I wake up every day or roughly six o'clock I take a cold shower. I'm a cold shower guy. I'm not a cold plunge guy, but I got to do a cold shower every single day. I got to get a workout in, even if it's only 30 minutes, I got to get my body moving. So I do that. And then my breakfast is always going to be a bulletproof coffee, which is crazy. I know, but it's gotta be coffee with grass fed butter, MCT oil. I throw some mushrooms in there and blend it up. That is how I start my day. And then I end every night always with a sauna. Uh, that's my thing. Like I, I, I've tried it all, but that is my thing I have to do. So it's really weird. Um, but it works like clockwork for me, but why? So what, why are those habits important to you? 100% focus getting ready for the day. It, it's all about how I can perform, right? Like if I'm an athlete, I'm going to train a certain way. This is how I train to be an entrepreneur yep. without a doubt. Like I cannot go out tonight and have a couple beers and a big steak and come in here tomorrow and function at a high level. It's not going to work for me. I can't do it. I've tried and tried and tried. So I'm a little bit of a princess. In fact, before I came to this shoot today, I stopped at Whole Foods. I got a bulletproof coffee. I drove probably 10 minutes out of my way just to get it so I could start my day on a high note. I love it. I love it. And I do, you know, I do a lot of things for my health as well. But what I really want to focus on is how I create habits to become really good at this, at helping people reduce their risk. So, you know, uh, I got asked the other day, like, how do I stay so informed on franchising? And I said, it's probably a lot like a doctor stays relevant on their practice, right? Or a CPA on their practice. I couldn't they engage into their their things. But what I do is I don't come home, crack open a book or crack, crack open a magazine and start reading about the industry. It is incorporated into my life. So when I open up my social media, what's there? Things about franchising. Um, when I start my car, what starts? It's not the radio, it's audiobooks or it's a podcast about something that's helping me understand this industry. If I really like it, I go back and I listen to it. I'll listen to the ones that I love two, three, four times. And then if it's a book, I'll go read the physical copy to write the notes down. I mean, you've had me many times come in and say, here's the book I'm reading, right? I want you to hear this. And so the, the habits for me have to become part of my life. If I try to say, okay, I'm not going to uh, do something with my kids after dinner, but instead I'm going to go read this book on franchising. I know that short term because it forces me to break my regular cycle, which is not sustainable for me. Agree. I'll challenge you on that because I think this is important too. I used to be the person who would absorb information all the time. Like I'd get in the car, podcast, 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 but it almost blended together. And for me, I'm more intentional about what I absorb. So if I'm thinking about marketing, for instance, 
I will go to a marketing podcast and I will absorb everything for two to three months. Like that is my focus because I know I need to do that. Where if I just absorb stuff all the time, it just kind of gets blended away. And then the other side of it is I will try to practice not absorbing information and doing something that makes me maybe uncomfortable and or breaks the habit. So vacations for me, like when I go on vacation, I've told you this, I go on vacation, I'm checking out. Like I'm not the guy who works on vacation. Like everybody who works with me knows this. I go, I check out because I'm resetting my brain. I'm just resetting, getting away from all the clutter so I can come back and be intentional again. Mm -hmm. well, one of your habits then is recovering, right? Yeah. Recovery is just as important. Just as an athlete, thing. you recover. Yeah. That's exactly, it's a great point. When we think about habits, I want to talk about the habits that are formed when you have a job versus the habits that you need as an entrepreneur. You know, when we're in a job, lots of times the habits are, well, I'm supposed to be at the office at a certain time. Yeah. I'm supposed to take lunch at a certain time. I'm supposed to leave or I can I can leave at a certain time and other things that are involved with that job. So those become your habits and your family routines are shaped around those things. Yeah. When you're an entrepreneur, your habit of what the business needs might be those hours, it might be off hours. I mean, at the end of the day, especially if you're a first time entrepreneur, many things require your attention. So the habit that has to be created is the discipline it takes to work those hours and prioritize something that may seem frustrating or mundane in the moment over other things that are more enjoyable, 100%. other things that you want to do. I mean, the reality is you have to have grit. You have, you have to sacrifice yeah. in the beginning as an entrepreneur. And then eventually you get back to that schedule or you even get to a better schedule than you had before. But in the beginning, the habit of I am available when the business needs me. Man, the other part of that too is when you are a nine to five employee, you're probably doing one task really well. You're assigned to do one task. When you become an entrepreneur, especially early on, you got to do a lot of things, a lot of hats. Sometimes those hats aren't things you want to do. So it becomes increasingly important to be disciplined to do them. Like nobody loves to do financials, but you might have to the first couple of years or the first year. Nobody likes to do performance reviews or hiring or whatever it is. You got to be disciplined to do those things. That's a struggle of mine. Like I, I, I know a blind spot of mine is taking the time to talk about how somebody's performance is going. I, I like to think about the future. I like mm -hmm. to think about the vision. And I'm lucky that I'm surrounded by people that say, hey, let's take a pause and make sure that every quarter that we are sitting down and we're talking about what's going well, what could be going better, yep. Yep. right? Agreed. So it's those habits and or having people around you that force you into those habits. Yep. Agree. What about you? What's a habit that's important to you with entrepreneurship? Going back to my original comment, you have to, when you become an entrepreneur, you have to also know when to separate your your business from your life, right? Like you can't always be on. It's a disservice to your family. So you have to start the habit of disengaging from your business for whatever it looks like three, four or five hours a day or whatever that is for you to have family time and to have downtime. So it's a habit. It's a reflex. You got to get to do it, right? So you got to practice becoming disengaged for a couple hours a day, I think. Yeah, most people. Now, what I'm going to say to you is everybody is a little bit different. I finally figured out this about myself is my work is my hobby. Mm -hmm. So there's moments in my work where it doesn't feel like that, but I also often at times when, you know, people would watch a Netflix show, which I do also, I'll turn on Netflix and watch it. But also many times it's like, I want to learn something about what's going on in my business. So yep. I turn that on and I enjoy it. Yep. If I didn't enjoy it, I'd be frustrated at myself. Like I got to turn that off. But as long as I'm enjoying it and I'm loving it, then I'm sure. okay. Uh, not turning it off maybe as much as other people will flip it over one more time for you. It takes practice though. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. know, so you may be saying that because that's what I used to say five years ago, potentially when I realized that the more I disengage a, a couple hours a night and or take those vacations, I become back stronger and better, yeah. you know, so it is, it's practice. Yeah. And everybody's a little Habit. different. Everybody's yeah. different with their 100%. habits. It's great.